I'll show you. I'll show you what my practice has gotten me. Nowhere. They broke up their chain so miserably. Why? What's happening here? Assessment was right. They, like stacking willy nilly could get you a good four to six chain, but like you can't build off that. It might be show. It's potion time. Let's get to work. What is that mess happening over there? What was that? What an easy win. Not happening. Learned fool, I thought you were. Get out of here. Rusty. I'm always a little Whoa. rusty when we start up the stream. Get out of 
out of here. Dirty, but I got there. A Puyo legend. It's fine. It's all fun. Losing means that I have to practice, which means more puzzles, which is win-win. <laughs> so it's all good. Let's start the lesson. Good evening, everybody. It's Mike from TXP Streams. I hope you're all doing all right. I hope that my camera's not distorted funny. Is it? Huh. I'm worried about that. But we're here with some Sea of Stars. Continue. All right, let's get adventuring. It's gonna take me a little bit to figure out what everyone's voices are. So, like, if if things get inconsistent, please bear with me. those berries. So we're following two people who are go undergoing a trial to, to learn how to do magic without using magic, which is basically smacking elements out of somebody and then using those elements for combat. It's a very convoluted method to teach these these kids about like extracting mana from the combat you're doing. Using magic, using magic. That's stupid. It's gone. Alright, there's something screwy with my camera, I can see it.
It's like weirdly distorted, right? Right? Like, we're technically looting this guy's mind. All these berries, they're coming from this guy's mind, right? Just because I'm seeing my camera work, so I'll just ignore it for now. To get this artifact piece, you need to answer three questions correctly and see what we learn. Of these two actions, which one generates MP? Attacking. What is the name of the school you went to? fun to cook than it is to eat.
One very important solstice warrior duty is to destroy dwellers. Who became vulnerable during which natural phenomenon? Eclipse. Luckily, it does look like just one treasure chest per path. someone's mindscape. Let's just sleep here. This is our last chance to prepare. Do you feel ready? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The young adventurers have finished their preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of life mana, but can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Face me, children of Solstice! Watch out! this. <laughs> Mr. Sword is feeling better.
It's okay, one healing mist is fine. Taste this! Yeah! Not even enough for that one. How formidable! Oh, a bright future which you would need! The land sale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it, you're the best. Ha, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the Moose of Time during your travels. When you are ready to leave this place, follow me back at the Sacred Pond, I'll tell you your respective prophecies. Oh, then you will be sent out to the world. Oh, don't take too long now. Time has come to begin your journey. Morning, but it's the middle of the night. Oh, yes. Oh, I suppose your friend should adjust that. Adjust what? Where's the dawn? We can do, we can do that. Oh, all it takes is for you to stand on Celestial Rune. And then what? Something is wrong. It was already. All right, this way. Concentrate! Bring us the dawn! Advance time, rewind time. How'd you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Ooh! That part is always easier for simply going for it. No, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that you act at the time of day. They are put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others steal away evil, so they are too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and gems would be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How did we get across? We're well, using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I'll share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Mmm, vegetables. must mess up the ecosystems heavily. Owls will deafen us with their incessant hooting. 
ever missed Islands Land. Are you ready to be sent out to the world? Let us see you off then, but first your prophecies. I will speak to them in your minds directly, for they're yours and yours alone. Zale, sit forward. In order to reach your full potential, we first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Yeah. Valer, approach! When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Girl! I get one too? Awesome! You must be my loyalty found your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Oh, this is not a conversation! Shut up! Oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart will might be warm enough to soothe a long tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You will now learn everything I can teach you. I'm sending you to Sleeper Island, where you'll find me a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give me the name Zuktol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Zuktol and to speak this one thing, which is Zuktol, cool. That's one method of transportation. Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Woo! And so it was that Valer and Zeo were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook, in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Awesome. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then? There's only one way we could go from here, anyway. That's a treasure chest. this mage ring. Party recovers one MP when they block. When they time a block. That's good stuff. 90 gold. When you have to solve puzzles just to leave the damn island. That's not happening, then. Forget it. Unless... To dust with you! Bone! They're polishing bone! Hmm, tomatoes. 
One rainbow conch. What the hell is that? My interest at collector. Did you have to boop one? How did, how did that thing work? Was it a button? Potatoes. <gasps> Is she a savage? She's got portal magic. Bruiser. It's resist. feels fragile. It would probably break if we jumped from high enough. Hmm. These panpipes make me want to direct a train, you know? Find a princess. Get her body disem like, disembodied. Possesses a monster. We should play Zelda, that's what I'm saying. But we can't, because emulating uh, the touchscreen is a fool's errand. Hey, Seeker, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. I think they were minding their own business when I started attacking them. <laughs> to dust! Time has made the ruins indecipherable. I 
I did more damage than that. They're taking at us! Get it? I don't want to know. Hmm. Looks pretty. I wonder if I can smash it. Like, oh my god. It's gonna ram us! More damage. Uh oh. This is not good, y'all. So it looks like it's worth it trying to stagger them because it also lowers the attack, the good powers attack. Such violence. I think I might need like a mining pickaxe just to get that crystal. Power belt. More power. More meta parts. Mmm, peppers. Taste my boomerang. Yeah. Big bang attack. When to time it for that?
yeah, take that. I leveled up. I need some milk. I don't know where the exit is. Let's go. Let's find out. It is the only route I can go. Okay, just a double check. <laughs> this skull is scary. Boom explosion. We're all gonna die. Uh, let's heal ourselves because we're not doing so good. Cut him! I need 2,000 experience. Cool. So I can go that way. Okay. Got enough fish. have 10 food at a time. Okay, good to know. <laughs> T 
teal, amber, ore. They don't think I have a certain power for it, you know. Indecipherable runes. Mushrooms, delish. Watch him, yeah! No idea when to time that. They gave me eggs. Silver sword. Silver sword, though.
gonna hurt. Boom explosion. Cool to do here. Cool. Go to the butthole ruins. What? Go to the butthole ruins. A rock lid requires a firm grip. Of death going on in this team. I think I have to fall down to get that. Tartos. Mushroom soup. Forty for the party. Hearty and comforting. To the right, stone mason outpost. Down left is fisherman's lake. looks of this one. No, too much. Stop being lazy, everyone. Get up. There's an 
Oh no, something will open up there. Windy lock. Am I in Scotland? That can't be right. There's three fish here. A hard shell. I got it again. We got a lot of shrimp. Got it. Come on, come on, I got you. I love that there's no tutorial on how to fish this thing. A grass haddock. Like, I don't know how to fish, but I got the idea right away. I don't need to fish anymore. I think I've reduced this livestock by a lot. Potatoes, er, wheat, you're mine. Ba -na 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 -na. Let's get the hell out of here. Look, someone's over there. We should ask for directions. Shanlock's busy. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... Nah, it must be my imagination. <clears throat> so what are those? What are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least that's what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, my name's Garl. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. So, are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Valer and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for 20 years. Huh? Magic hair. Enchanted cloth pieces. You 
you're Solstice Warriors! We, uh, I... I knew it! Adventurous spirits fusion about our fate of our mission the known and the kind of countless forgotten artifacts! A traveling historian's best friends! I mean... Well, someone's excited. Haha, <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks is an offer us for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Huh? Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect except camp. Oh well. Don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. I okay, thanks. That's it, one stew coming up. Thanks again for the food, girl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. We're welcome. To, you're welcome to join us again, again anytime. So you're very, you're the very last traveling historian. At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lower grimoires were burned. What, the what now? Lower grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa. A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here, which uh, leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how many Lord Grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This story first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They, they were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Oh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. I didn't even know traveling historians were a thing. I wonder how many of them are used to be. Story time by campfire. Hey, want to hear a story? Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful winged mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on board. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say the ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on, on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that city out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, then eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he hang sank to the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the sea of nightmare. Stormcaller's hated pit hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. 
Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break at once a day, but for a few seconds at a precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to call on the board in search of treasure, most avoid that sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Wow. Good night, folks. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Uh -huh. Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Joins the cargo. She's right there. Don't, don't select me, please. It hurts. I'm not part of your party. Stop messing with my shit. This place reminds me of a puzzle. have a certain amount of time to get this done? I guess so. It's an ancient combo scale. Solar Rain! Sun damage it hits all targets. Cool. You're telling me that the ancient, the modern people can't solve these puzzles? are nice. This is the life. Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. I got mushroom soup. Things look like paths that aren't exactly open yet. Is that a sleeping dragon? Oh, right! That was the story from before. That the, the panpipe music that we keep hearing from the wind is keeping that dragon asleep. Kill us all! Kill us all! Run! Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course they're Solstice Warriors. Garl! It's true, though. We can help if we can. What's the matter? It's Mokumud, the Earth Winamental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little elf taking care of the what? the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job it is, to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. 
But now Malcomud has taken over the mines, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it's the end of the world. Ah! What's more, he clogged the tunnel by powering the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk Test Row. If this continues, Malcomud's minions will start pouring out of the mines and. <laughs> it's okay. We're here to help. What happened next? The Elder went in to try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolm is very powerful. Don't worry. We'll find you, Elder. What evil wizard going down? Oh, what luck. Thank you. I'm going to go freak out over there, though. Everyone, stop panicking. Solstice warriors are here to solve everything. The elder will return. Malcolm will not kill us all. Yay. I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. La 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 la. Still missing some post. Since the elder went in, the elder hasn't returned. I suppose one would have to just jump in. I can't sleep since Malcolm took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town any moment. So that's the elevator, but we can't operate it yet. The whole Malcolm, this whole Malcolm, this is so annoying. I just want to get back to work. Why is everyone angry at Malcolm? I don't get it. Are you moles? Are you mole people? Welcome to the Sleepy Basin! Would you like to rest our geothermal room? <laughs> no. The water mill stopped functioning after Malcolm and clocked the wind tunnels, and there's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go to the mines to help? So much to learn here. Are you one of the solstice words? I really hope you can feed Malcolm. Even with all the panic going on, my brother will come out of the studio. All he does is paint all day long. Oh, well, he's actually just painting. This will be my best work ever. I mean, they actually put the sprite work into someone painting. If the tunnels keep getting clogged, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. If the sleeper wakes up, we're doomed. Ancient Molkin Cloak. Teeks might get a story from this. Everyone was running around just moment ago. Crimes are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground with my parents. Are you really social source? That's so cool. My mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside without going on. It's too dangerous. Heading out, have a look at my equipment and food. Adamant Shard ensures double hits on regular attacks. Oh, these are okay. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. I think I'll find another weapon for her soon. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door, but they're in the back room and I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to work fine, though. If only there was no way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Why, thank you. Hmm, 
mushrooms. More mushrooms. Delicious mushrooms. Frodo they are. Don't call them that. Good job, kid. Were my chests okay? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's the least I could offer as payment. Thanks for the help. Okay, I didn't open them both, but I was like... <laughs> that would have that been awkward. Have I been in these? Yes, I have. I see the empty treasure chest. Be careful of the mines. Apparently someone spotted a monstrous salamander. I'm gonna get more power soon enough. Okay, cool. Wind-based powers, I guess. I just can't solve this right now. It is a bit charming that everybody here is. It, they visibly have personality. Wait, I should probably save just in case. Not fully healed. Fighting an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. I hope we can help. I think I might make him. Okay, I have to permanently pick these names or these voices. I think Zale's got to be like the the detect like a, a noir detective. Say, I hope we can help the Molkins. They seem so peaceful. I can't hold anymore. That's okay. I think I'm gonna finish my stream here, but I will see everyone again tomorrow at the regular time and place at five Easter Santa time. We'll 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 help these mole people. Very similar in my mind. This is reminding me a lot of like of Gorons and the big boulder and you have to save people. Why don't you, why don't you eat the boulder? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna end the stream here and I hope to see everyone tomorrow at about five Easter Santa time here at GXP Streams. Uh, later tonight, Brian will be playing, uh, they'll be playing San uh, My Time at Sandrock with a couple of other GXP Discorders. So be sure to check that out later at about 11 Easter Santa time. It'll be, it'll be a guess. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, let's raid. Let's raid a friendly channel! Let's show them who's boss! Let me see who's on. Banshee Boo VT is playing uh, Mario Party Superstars. It's a, it looks like a lot of people are playing, in, like at least four people. So it looks like a multiplayer game. Uh, we should get some uh, vibrancy here before, uh, before our my time at Sandrock stream. I'm going to hit the raid button and I'll see you over there in 10 seconds. But first off, our end of month giveaway for this month is for a copy of Deep Rock Galactic. So be sure to redeem your points for ballots if you want to get a chance for this draw. Um, I'll be playing uh, some more Sea of Stars tomorrow. And I, I don't have much more to bring up. So yeah, have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there. Uh, stay cool cool out there despite the heat waves uh work on your backlogs don't let them haunt you like ghosts and be sure to check out our discord to chat with us and all that good stuff and bring your friends bring your enemies let's bring our our follower count higher Woo! we're rating banshee boo vt let's go it's mike from gxp stream see you later